Hey there folks, we're out in rifle country, but today it's going to be pistol country. Going back to my roots, all the way back to 1986, when I took my very first professional firearms training class. Yes, indeed. I took a four-day class from a man named John Farnham. And the number one firearm used way back then was this, the 1911 A1 pistol in 45 ACP. Now, if you do the math, you might realize, you're like, Paul, I know about how old you are. And in 1986, you weren't even 21 years old yet. That's correct. I was only 19. I couldn't even walk into a gun shop and buy a handgun. So I had to rent one from the school. Now the rental guns that they all had were very common. They were GI surplus 1911A1 45 pistols. That's right, GI Joe sights, GI safeties, GI beaver tails, and seven round magazines. Because 1986 was before the widespread adoption of the eight round magazine. That's right, we used eight or seven round GI mags. Now, over a period of about four days, we went through uh, roughly around a thousand plus rounds of ammunition. And yes, by the third day, I had athletic tape. We all did. Had athletic tape wrapped around our thumbs, had athletic tape wrapped in the webs, and so on and so forth. But by the time I left that school, I had supreme confidence in my skills and abilities. So today, I'm just going to spend some time out here in the beautiful wide open country of Wyoming. I'm going to get back to my roots and use this pistol right here from Inland Manufacturing. This is a GI M1911A1 45 ACP. On a personal side note, I actually attended John Farnham's course the year before I joined the United States Marine Corps. And when I joined the United States Marine Corps, I became a gunner. I was in the infantry and I was in the security forces battalion. So I carried a pistol pretty much identical to this one for my first two years in the Corps before we switched over to the M9 Beretta. And then after I got off of active duty, Went through the police academy, needed to buy my own gun. By that time, obviously, I was an adult and I could buy my own. So I bought a 1911. Now, I didn't buy a GI spec one. I bought one from Springfield. But I bought a 1911. I took it through the police academy. And I carried it for about 10 years before I replaced it with a Glock. So there is a special place in my heart. Even if I don't carry a 1911 every day now, there is a special place in my heart for the good old GI Joe M1911. 